What's up guys? Y'all know what day it is today? Yeah, it's the best day of the week because it's Snap on Friday. Right there he is, so let's take a look and see what he's got. You guys, come on. Summertime, ain't it? Is it warming up? Oh, say big old water tickets up here. What? That's usually a good thing when you got tickets. We're gonna give away that uh, seat back here. You seen one of them before? Mm-hmm. Those are cool. Yeah. Got the drawer on the front, drawer on the back. Yeah, buddy. Well, how's life been treating you this week? Uh, well, you can tell everybody got their stimulus checks in because we've been busy this week. <laughs> That's a good thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I ain't complaining about that at all. Well, sold you impacts, looks like. Getting, got more of them on the way. Tuesday, get to uh, be my biggest shipment I had in the last six months. I'll be getting Tuesday. Cool. 120 pounds. You're, uh, you said the vice grips were nice, huh? Yeah. Hopefully, I have to go back and look on the list and see if we got them in. If they oh, you said the over. first set didn't last no time. No, they went out the same day I got them in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I asked that dude this week, I asked him how they liked them. He said, I only used them twice. He said, so yeah. I ain't got no real test on them. He said, but they grab and they hold. Huh? And that's, he said, that, that's a much improvement over the yeah, old said, well, well, they hold them, so that's what they already beat the old ones. <laughs> they already out. got the old ones beat. And, uh, yeah. Well, that's good. But yeah, I, I went and ordered some more of them. That, like I said, when you feel them in your hand and they feel better than the old ones, mm -hmm. then. Well, they had to be better. They can't get much worse. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, they can't get much worse. And mm -hmm. they actually look like regular vice scripts instead of, they're not painted and all that kind of stuff. Or they don't call them locking pliers. Yeah, them. yeah, that's right. They're not vice grips. Yeah, they're locking pliers. <laughs> What new and exciting products you got this week? As uh, far as new, I haven't got anything in this week. It's all coming in on the uh, Tuesday. I have my shipment coming in. A uh, bunch of batteries. I did order, talk them in to send me a lot of 14.4 and 18 volt batteries. Cause Still no words on the brush list when they're going to come out with the 3 nah, eighths. Somebody's asked me about it yesterday and th th I still ain't got no part number in the system on them yet. I wonder what they're waiting on. I don't know why they, I mean, to me, I'd seem like they'd want to hurry up and get it out there as fast as they can. Yeah. But you understand they want to test them and test them and test them and make sure they don't hold up. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, test them a little bit, make sure, and then let's go with it. Get them out there. Well, hopefully they'll be soon because I'm ready to try one and see how it works. Yeah. Because as long as I got the rocking sugar on and I'd trade the two I got in at the house that I use all the time. I know Kevin, he used mine in there a while ago. He likes that little dude was changing yeah. them door pin bushings out. He's like, man, that thing will go right in there, won't it? I'm like, yep. Yeah, they, uh, well, like I said, I got two of them. The other day I went to the shop and I was looking, trying to clean up around the shop and everything. I couldn't find one of them. One of them was in my box, one of them wasn't. I was looking around, cleaning up. Couldn't find it, couldn't find it. My boy came out there and I asked him. He's usually pretty good at putting all my stuff back. And I asked him, I said, hey, so where's the, my other 3 8 impact at? He said, I'll put it in my box. I said, go oh, get my done, gun back. He done confiscated yeah, it. We get, we got his box in a race car trailer. He said, that thing is so easy to use. He went and put it in his <laughs> box. <I'm> like, <laughs> well, just order you a new one and let him keep that one. I, I'm probably going to. He's a, Might as well get him a little quarter inch one too, because he already has a quarter inch one. Oh, he does? So I don't even have a quarter inch anymore. He used it because yeah. I never used a quarter. I'd rather not use any of them. He's a... If I'm going to use something, I want it to be one of them versus yeah. a... You know, and I used to be a big ratchet guy. Now if I can get an impact in there, and if the impact won't fit, if I can get my electric ratchet in there, that's what I do. Yeah, well, that's like I had to get a brute for him because he used a 3 8 ratchet all the time. And uh, 
we tried the brood out because I ordered a couple demos and he likes that extra power on it because mm -hmm. he's on 13. So, I mean, he's starting to get a little weight on him stuff now for yeah. it's getting bigger and older and stuff so he can break stuff loose. But he said he hates having to sit there and crank on it, then crank on it. He said that brute, you just hit the button and let it do the work. I know, that's, that's bad. Know. People's got that lazy in it. Because <laughs> <laughs> what I was saying, you know, last week, I walk all the way across the shop to get a electric ratchet when there's a regular ratchet laying right there. <laughs> Sad, but that is true. When you get used to using it, though, that's what you mm -hmm. get comfortable with. That's right. And I guess the electric feels faster, even though sometimes it might be probably faster using a regular ratchet, but that electric just feels faster. It sure is nice to mash that button, though. And just hold on to it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what I like about it. Yeah. We, uh, like I told everybody, last week we had a big junior drag race for my son. We well, broke the exhaust pipe on it. The vibration coming out of the burnout started bouncing, and after two or three times, the, we didn't have the mount on the very end of the exhaust that holds it steady. We took it off. And uh, so it cracked the pipe. Well, that night we was gonna take it home. I was gonna weld it. Yeah. And uh, Saturday night, bring it back for Sunday. Of course, I'm over finding the ratchet, getting everything out, and he's like, "I got this. Don't worry." So he come out with that electric ratchet. And <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's the way I am. Yeah. If but, I can get it in there, you better bet you that's yeah, what said, I'm gonna use. That's what I told him. I said, "It ain't no fit." He says, "That's why I brought the extension." So. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I ain't no dummy. No. Oh yeah. yeah. Man, you got your plier drawer filled up, looks like. Yeah, well, we get a lot of stuff. We got a bunch of the Nipex in. Yeah. Waiting on the, we did get these. Well, these was about three weeks ago. We got four or five pair of these in. I only got three Yeah, left. I like those yeah, three crimpers like that. But I'm out of the small ones that had the crimpers and the cutters mm -hmm. on them, or the strippers. We ordered six, and we'll see how many we get in. I tell you what, them Nipex is the finest things ever made. That's a big set right there. Yeah. But even these right here yeah. look. I don't have that set. I've got this one, the great big long one, and then I don't have that one though. I'll put it up here for you then. How much is it? <laughs> it probably ain't gonna be that bad. Probably ain't gonna be that probably. bad. That's easy to say when a man's got a lot of money like you. <laughs> Number 125. 125. Mm -hmm. I got an old set at the house that my daddy gave me a long time ago that I'm not sure what the brand is, but they're this size. They may even be bigger. They ain't Nipex. They're not even this heavy like what these yeah. are. But uh, I think the only time I've ever used them was on oil filters, on tractors and stuff. You work on old tractors, just what, that's your main tool right there. Mm -hmm. That and a hammer. Oh, yeah. speaking of hammers, dude, I love that new hammer. Do you? Yep, that's the only one we used all day long. And we beat bushings out and everything else today. That small end fits in some of them tight spots. Dude, I love it. It's it, like, I always thought this was the hammer of choice, but that one with that small end on there, well, the, that's I've, the way to go, man. That's the best last hammer. week's video, uh, Two of my guys, I seen this week. They watch videos every week. They're like, "Hey, order me one of them hammers." You know, mm -hmm. like they're, the they're hammer been riding around better. on here for a little while. I never <laughs> noticed it. Yeah, but what, uh, like what one guy pointed out, all the, I mean, like these hammers are all great. Yep, work good. This is all the ones I got in my toolbox. I don't mm -hmm. have one like that one. But I didn't either do the other week. day. <laughs> but if you do hit these sideways on this end, you can break these parts off. They have been known to pop off. Yeah. This end don't. I've never wanted one out because this end broke. So that's what uh, the other two guys were saying. Like, hey, I, I think they'd be a lot stronger for us, that small end. Mm, I like it too, man. Like, we use those, I got those lane, real long lane punches. Yeah. And we was able to drive those pins out. Man, that little end, it's it's nice to be able to fit up in there. You know, like when we drove the new bushings in, it's nice. Yeah, they, uh, I like that hammer. That's my favorite hammer now. <laughs> well, I've got a couple more of them ordered, like I said, because some of the guys watch videos, they're like, hey, I want one of them hammers. Do like they that. make a lighter weight one? That's the only size that That's they That's the only do. one. I was going to say, if they made like a 16 ounce one like that. Yeah. It'd be perfect. I know yep. we used. I like them. I thought those dead blow ball peens were the cat's meow until I, until I use that one. Now I'm hooked. <laughs> I used the dead blow ball peen. 
on we've been selling like two post lifts or four post lifts driving anchors in the ground mm -hmm. i use that big old 40 and we get two hands on that bad boy and whack a piss out of her yeah well i guess i'll just get the nip x and i hadn't seen that size so that's a good good thing yeah it's hard to beat these it is they were the best pliers ever made right yeah. there them things will grab a hold and that's it when they dig in they're there i got or three sets not this size the look the smallest one then one like a six inch and one like a 10 inch mm -hmm. in the door of my pickup truck. like the 10 inch is my favorite one that yep. i use more than any of them because the head's more narrow on it yep you can get it in a lot more places um not that was it's this size yep but with the button Mm -hmm. and like I got them it's the same way you see how the head's mm -hmm. real narrow on them right here yep you can get them in a lot more places and i got that size and then i got the little bitty one which yep. i'm out of them <clears throat> but that's my favorite one because see this one's just a little bit maybe an a inch longer two inches longer yeah and you can see the difference of how the the head thickness is on it and you can get that you can get this one right here in some places, yep. man. I use them more than I do any of them. Y'all ever use these? I don't have a pair of them, no. These, I mean, as far as like battery cables, I end up buying some of these, put in my tow box, because with the race cars and stuff, we use them a few times. Everybody got a race car, you move your batteries around on your car all the time. Did you tell or, everybody about you stealing my Nipex two weeks ago? I sure did. We <laughs> <laughs> walking through the shop. And I had my hoodie on, and I don't know if we stopped talking or Clay always get tools in here that he's doing videos or pictures on or something. And I sit there messing with them, and I turned and walked off, and I just put them right in my pocket. <laughs> we, I mean, that was when I first got here. We did the whole video and ate lunch and everything, left, brought them back the next week, like, hey, I got you yeah, a flyer. He said, hey, I got something of yours. <laughs> I'll stick these in my pocket. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't even realize it until I got home and took my hoodie off and something hit the ground. I, was like, what I the think crap? they had Matco on them, didn't they? I think they did. Yeah. yeah. Dang. Dang snap on guy. Dang Steven snap on guy. Him. What he was doing, he just wanted to hold a good tool in his hand a little while <laughs> since it had that Matco symbol on it. Comparing the Matco that's with Nipex to the snap on Nipex. That's it. <laughs> oh, that's why y'all's is cheaper. Y'all don't have to pay, pay, somebody pay to the snap on name to get stamped yeah. on it. You know, I did that video where we compared them and the prices on all of them. Snap on one every across the board on Nipex, every one of them. So there you go, guys. If you want Nipex, buy them from your Snap on guy and save the money. That'd be the cheapest ones. You know, I'd spend that fifteen dollars to twenty dollars. Rebranding fee. Put the other logo on it. All right, yes. guys. Well, I guess we're gonna wrap this up and get back in there and get to work. But like always, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes is down here. And if you're not subscribed, you take your finger and you press the button. Just click it. It's that easy. It's easy. Y'all have a great week, and we will catch y'all next time. <laughs> See ya.